Hello, this is Bryce Brewer with Grace Technologies. And we're here today to talk about our panel mount node series and kind of go through a question that we get from our customers, which is what's the difference between a panel mount node and a cloud gate or a cloud gate and a control gate? So let's step through that now. So you see we have four different options here. Uh, we'll go from simplest to most advanced. So we have our, our panel mount node on the far left, a cloud gate, a control gate, and then a combo gate here on the end. First one is our panel mount node. So this one acts as a child in a network, similar to our vibration and temperature nodes you see here. So it requires one of the devices here on the end in order to get its data to the cloud or to the control system, depending on what you need. So these typically will bring in hardwired I.O. sensors, such as a CT that you see here. So on the back, you'll see we do have terminal blocks that are labeled nicely to where you know what type of input it takes um, and where to wire that. Um, so this would be used if you have a high density uh, of hardwired inputs that you want to bring in that you can't handle with just a single cloud gate. So you can add in an additional one of these panel mount nodes in order to bring those sensors in. You can kind of think of them as advanced remote I.O. Um, that you can get the data from this to the cloud or to your PLC or control network. Next up here is our first parent in the network, which is a cloud gate. So the cloud gate, as the name suggests, brings the data from any of its children and its own data into the cloud. So we do that now using Wi-Fi or LTE. So you'll see this one is a Wi-Fi one. It has two antennas, and one of those antennas is for a Zigbee compatible protocol from the child to here. So that's a 30 meter range line of sight. And then the second antenna will be either LTE using Verizon or AT&T or a Wi-Fi antenna. So these devices can also bring in hardwired I.O. just like our panel mount nodes. So you'll see here on this one we do have a simple thermistor to get say a panel temperature in where this device is mounted. Moving on from there, we have our control gate. Our control gate is a way to get information from our vibration and temperature nodes or a panel mount node into the control system. We currently have Modbus TCP IP and Ethernet IP as integration options. And the Ethernet IP option does have an AOP with Rockwell to make it a very seamless integration to get all of your different devices and their data into the PLC. So this is a very popular one with uh, a lot of our Rockwell customers. That gets your data into the control system. This one gets it into the cloud. But what if you want both? So that's where our combo gate comes in. So this combo gate can bring data from its children and bring it into the cloud in our maintenance hub where you can do all of your alarming, alerting, data visualization, uh, vibration analysis as well as get it into the control system where you have your SCADA with HMIs across the plant and be able to alarm just like you would with any other tag on the system. So you can see that these devices do have uh, RJ45 on the back in order to bring that in. And so these devices are also all powered by 24 volts, except for the panel mount node. Um, it can be powered by a battery as well. So you'll see here we do have a battery in here but if you have 24 volts in the panel, you can use that as well. So that is kind of the differences between our panel mount node, cloud gate, control gate, and combo gate. Thanks for watching.